In this section, we're going to be looking at organizing your backup repository with tags. In my opinion, tags are an incredibly useful and important feature of RESTIC, and it makes managing your RESTIC backup so much easier. I have a backup full of virtual machines here that I've shown in previous videos. What I'm going to do to give you an example of how well tags work, if I do snapshots on VMs, we'll see I have a bunch of snapshots and for each of my virtual machines, they have their own dedicated backup with their own retention policies and so on. But I back them all up to a single repository and I organize them with these tags. So you can see I have a tag for Windows, Debian, Mint, and so on. And if I do snapshots and filter by tag, I can filter by Windows. And I get three results. Or I can filter by Windows and say Kubuntu tags, and I get more results. All throughout RESTIC, you can filter by tags when you want to list files, snapshots, and most importantly, when you want to apply retention policy, whereby RESTIC will remove older snapshots to organize your snapshots with tags, especially if you have your backups split as individual backups to a single repository. Let's start by applying a tag and a backup. So I'm at my media snapshot again, and we're gonna back up my media files, my documents, music, pictures, software, and videos. And I'm going to apply the tag option and give it the tag media. This will create a new snapshot and we'll have two snapshots with the media tag applied. And it's done. We'll do snapshots. And we now have two snapshots labeled media tag. If we do snapshots and group them by the tag media, we get two listings. We can change tags if we want as well. Let's go ahead and change the tags for this snapshot. We do this with the tag command. So we'll do rustic tag and we'll use the set option and pass a list of tags. So I'll change it to files. You can do multiple tags by separating them by comma. So I can do files and baby docs and I'll specify the snapshot ID and you can pass multiple IDs too. So we'll set that. One snapshot has been modified. If we do snapshots, we can see this snapshot now has files and docs. Let's go ahead and change it back to just media. Uh, and that's another thing I forgot to mention. When you change the tags, the snapshot ID also is changed. So instead of this ID, now we have this snapshot ID. Don't know why it changes the snapshot ID, but it does so. Now when we do snapshots, we see it's back and we now have a new snapshot ID. Let's go ahead and change all of the snapshots labeled media tag. And we will, instead of calling it media, we'll call it files. And we can supply the snapshot IDs or we can use the tag option and specify what tag we want to search for. In this case, we're looking for media. So we're saying, we're going to set the tag to files on all snapshots that have the tag media. So this is going to change the files and this is going to change the files. Two snapshots were updated. And those snapshots that were labeled media are now labeled files. Let's reverse that again, but this time using the snapshot ID. So I'll copy this. And I'll copy this, and we will change them back to media. And it gives us basically the same result. But just be aware that it does change the snapshot ID, which always gets me. Now what I'm going to do is filter by host. I'm going to apply the media tag 
on all snapshots from my desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna set the tag to media and we're gonna filter by host. And now every snapshot from my desktop has the tags media. Now this set option overwrites any existing tags that are present. If you just wanted to add a tag, let's go ahead and add a tag to this snapshot. We can use the add option. And because I can't think of anything original, I will just put example. And this will add the example tag to the snapshot. As you can see, it appended that example tag next to docs. Likewise, we can remove tags with the remove option. Let's go ahead and remove that. And I'll copy its new snapshot ID. We'll remove the example tag. And now it's gone. The path filter also works with the tag command. So if I wanted to add that example tag again, and maybe I want to filter by path. So add the example tag to all snapshots with the path e documents, which should just be this one. And we got example back. So it's pretty simple. And the end result is when you want to remove snapshots, I feel it's much easier to do with tags. I'm going to go ahead and add the example tag to this latest snapshot. And I'll show you what I mean. Consider this command. Here we're telling Rustic to forget all snapshots with the tag example, keeping the last one. If you run a dry run on this, it tells us it's going to keep this snapshot and remove this snapshot. Since the keep last one says, I want to keep the latest one of these snapshots that have the example tag. So let's go ahead and run that. By the way, if we did just do group by tags, then it would actually keep both of these because these are two different parent snapshots. So this is the latest snapshot for this host, this computer, and this is the latest snapshot for this computer with both example tags. But anyway, let's just go ahead and remove this. Let's do not, let's not do dry run. And it removed the snapshot. If we do snapshots, we see that the Asus snapshot that had the example tag is gone. So now we just have our desktop snapshots. In upcoming sections, we will be looking more in depth at removing snapshots with tags. In the next section, we're going to return back to backing up. I'm going to show you how to include and exclude specific folders and files in your backup.